Hello, hello, my name is Benjamin Z. Miller, Benjamin Z. Miller, and I am the managing director of Alamo Mortgage Holdings. Alamo Mortgage Holdings is a UK company, a United Kingdom company, and we provide passive income, long-term passive income to our investors, and we do this by purchasing long-term debt in the United States. We purchase mortgages packages of mortgages. In this video, we're going to talk about Insight Investments' unusual move during the government bond crisis in the UK and how that raises questions about transparency. First, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this video. Insight Investment, one of the UK's largest pension asset managers, made an unusual decision during the government bond crisis last year. Instead of using mark-to-market pricing, the company chose to use higher values that painted a more positive picture of its position. The decision was made during the September crisis, which was triggered by the then Prime Minister Liz Truss's mini-budget. The liability-driven investment industry, which serves defined benefit pension schemes suffered a severe blow due to the sharp fall in UK government bond prices following Truss's announcement of unfunded tax cuts. This £1.4 trillion sector, which is denominated by Insight, BlackRock, and legal and general investment management was hit hard by the crisis. A vicious cycle emerged with drops in gilt prices, forcing LDI managers to sell more gilts to raise cash because their funds used leverage. Most LDI managers also marked down the value of their funds each day in line with plunging gilt prices. However, on the day the Bank of England introduced a rescue scheme, Insight disregarded market prices and set its own pushing its funds net asset values per share higher, in some cases significantly. The move by Insight to abandon mark-to-market pricing is highly unusual and has not been previously reported. The company's decision likely gave it an advantage in the marketplace by presenting a more positive picture of its position to investors. However, this move raises questions about transparency and the potential impact on investors who relied on accurate market pricing. The government bond crisis highlights the challenges faced by the pension industry, which is struggling to maintain returns in a low yield environment. Insight's decision may be an indication of the increasing pressure faced by pension asset managers to find new ways to maintain returns and protect investors' capital, while also ensuring transparency in their operations. You know, folks, if you're, if you're concerned about investing in big funds, if you have read so much news about just one thing after another happening, and you're thinking, you know, I wish there was something that I could invest into that I could understand and that would pay a good passive income. Well, Alamo Mortgage Holdings has a solution for you. At Alamo Mortgage Holdings, we have a team of experienced professionals with a track record of success in the mortgage and real estate industry. We also can sell you a corporate income bond denominated in either British pounds or U.S. dollars if you're a U.K. citizen. Our team members have cumulatively amassed over 200 years of general business experience with over 100 years in the mortgage and real estate industry in Texas alone. Members of our team have also worked with clients including Microsoft, Chevron, Exxon, Eventbrite, and Fora Financial. As a UK company, we specialize in purchasing mortgage notes in America and offering higher returns to our investors. Please join our free weekly webinar every Thursday at 1 p.m. UK time to learn more. 
You can sign up for the event. Just go to www.alamomortgageholdings.co.uk, fill out the contact form, and we'll send you an invitation. Or uh, go to LinkedIn and search for the company Alamo Mortgage Holdings. Uh, then go to the company events, and you can find a webinar there, the link uh, there. Folks, if you learned something from this video, maybe share it with your friends. You might be able to help them also. I hope that helps and good luck with your investing.